Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. Got my mood reader mug. And sorry the lighting's a little off. I'm filming this later than I usually do, which is also why I'm not drinking coffee. Because this came in the mail on Saturday, I believe, and my weekend has been crazy. This is Monday that I'm filming this, so I've had a crazy weekend and then I got off work. Had to do normal adulting things and now I'm trying to sit down to film this, so it's later than usual. I had some friends get married this weekend and I was helping with a lot of the wedding stuff and then also I had some friends moving this weekend so we were helping them move. So I'm a little bit exhausted and a little bit behind, but you know, always good to be there for your friends. So we're gonna go ahead and do this unboxing. So this is the July Adult Fairy Loot book only box. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this real quick. It'll be short and sweet, but I will be able to show you what the book is for July. Also, this shirt is from my mom for my birthday. It's wonderful. It's blackberries, but it's in the shape of Kentucky, which is where I'm from. I love it. And speaking of which, I will be doing a birthday haul type situation, but it's gonna be after my birthday because my birthday is in July and it already passed, but I will have that up soon as well. All right, let's just get into this box. These are really easy just because it's just a book. I don't have to do anything else. So this month's theme is demigods and donuts, which is a really funny, title and also makes me want donuts. I love donuts. So let me get this book out. Nice pink color. Oh, okay. So the book for July is The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy by Megan Bannon. I do like the color scheme. I think it's okay. It's a little bit different from the original, but I'm, I don't hate it. They're going for like these really bright colors all of a sudden in the adult box. I'm not mad about it, but it's just interesting. So the front looks like this the spine, the back, and the edges are really cute. It's this really pretty like teal color with like, it looks like roses, but instead of a rose, it's a skull. Cute. And then top and bottom are the same solid color. Aw, I like it. And on the top it says, true love might be the death of them. Oh, the end pages are so cute. So there's nothing underneath the dust jacket, but Look at these end pages, they're adorable. Oh my gosh. There's a doggo. And of course it is signed. This is one of my anticipated releases for this year. So I'm pretty excited about this. And the naked hardcover is also very pretty. It's black, which I did not expect, but it has this really pretty gold foiling of the two of them and the spine. Oh, and the end papers on this side are also different. And at the top it says, the house in the cerulean sea meets you've got mail in this quirky, refreshing fantasy with a rom-com worthy twist, which I've kind of heard that. I've heard it's a fantasy that's kind of a cozy, funny fantasy that also is romance. So I'm not really sure what to expect of it, but I think it's gonna be fun. So from what I know about this, Heart is a marshal and Mercy is an undertaker or she works for an undertaker. And she's like single-handedly trying to keep this business afloat. And he's patrolling, trying to keep the magical wilds of this town intact and under control. And it sounds like they kind of get on each other's nerves. Like he's more sullen and she's more happy. And so I think they kind of clash when they first meet. But then he starts writing letters to a friend. And I guess he just writes it and then like throws it somewhere. I really don't know. And she finds it and she starts sending him letters back. And so they are corresponding with each other, even though they kind of hate each other. And so it kind of goes from there. And maybe when they find out it's each other they're writing to, things will kind of blow up and get a little crazy. But it sounds cute and kind of funny. It also sounds like there's, they're in a magical land. So it sounds like there is like an undertone of some, some problem that's going to arise. We just don't really know what. It doesn't really allude to that in the summary. But I was pretty excited when I heard about this because it sounded really funny and really cute. And I think it'll be kind of a breath of fresh air in the fantasy genre. But obviously if you're not a big fan of romance or don't like any romance, this might not be for you. But I'm curious to give it a shot and see what I think. So I'm glad that I got a copy of this. Well, that's all for this unboxing, but stay tuned on my channel if you like to see more unboxings in the future. That is it for today's video. So please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Stay safe and caffeinated. Bye.